Hey guys, Eric Su here. Hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another episode of Goality Lifestyle. Today is going to be a fun one today because I'm talking about the Aris Wi-Fi modem and router and the NetHawk router. So stay tuned. All right, you guys, if you're new to this channel, welcome. I know you guys will get a lot out of this. So remember to destroy the like button, subscribe button, and notification button so you can get future videos just like this and it helps the YouTube algorithm. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. I know you guys are gonna learn a lot out of this as well. All right, let's jump in right to this video about this SBG 7600 AC2 modem router from Aris and the Nighthawk router. And this model is the R7000, okay? All right, so the reason why I set this up was because I wanted to uh, get away from the x gateway, okay? Which is a $14 or I think it's $25 per month rental, okay? And um, $14 is the basic uh, 125 gigabyte data, I believe, and then the $25 is the unlimited plan, okay? But anyhow, I didn't want to pay that monthly, so I decided to pick up these two, and I only thought I would have to pick up this guy here, the Aris, uh, um, and, and I only thought that I needed to pick up this Aris modem Wi-Fi router, but apparently, the um, router here, it doesn't provide the speed that I need uh, for this uh, setup, okay? I have the 400 megabyte download speed and 20 upload, okay? And um, after activating this guy only, okay? So I started with this guy right here. Um, I noticed that uh, this 2.4 gigahertz speed was only giving me like 40 to 80 megabytes download, okay? And then I called, uh, eight, um, and then I called support from Xfinity and they tried to figure it out for me. Um, and this took over, I don't know, four days or so to figure it out um, for some reason. Uh, and it turned out that after a, a technician came out that they checked the signal, which was good, but the uh, 2.4 um, gigahertz signal on this unit was never going to give me the 400 um, megabytes download speed that I was looking for. However, the 5.0 gigahertz um, signal would give me the uh, 400 megabyte download. Now. And so uh, their solution for me to be able to get a higher, okay, um, signal in my house was to add the Nighthawk router to this um, modem router from Aris, okay? So once I hooked up this guy, I was able to get the 5.0 gigahertz signal a higher speed away from this area here, okay? Every time I tested the speed for the 5.0 in this area, like this room right here, I would get 300, 400, walk away 10 feet or so, and I would get 200, walk away, uh, and this is the 5.0 gigahertz uh, signal. And then all the way over there, which is about 60 feet, um, I still get about 200. Okay, 100, 200, okay, which is good on the 5.0, but the 2.4, I would, I would never get that speed, okay? Um, so if you're following me here, this by itself, the modem router was never going to give me the high speeds at the 2.4, but at the 5.0, okay? But the 5.0 signal only kind of give gave me that 400 speed here, and if I walked away, it wasn't going to give me that speed, okay? 50, 60, if I walked away. But once I added this Nighthawk, okay, R7000 
uh, router here connected to this guy. Then the 5.0 uh, um, 400 megabytes speed was further away, okay? Now it's not the best further away, <laughs> but it's, it's pretty, it's better, okay? Um, Cause like just by this itself, the 5.0, like I said, was not going to give me the, the higher rates 60 feet away, okay? So I added this guy and it did give me, the 5.0 did give me uh, a signal further away. Now, uh, depending on where you are in your house, okay, you might need an extender. I am going to add an extender because I have to get upstairs to my office and it's further away, 60 feet and up. So it's further away. I think with this, um, the signal is going to be stronger. Plus with the extender should give me um, higher speeds further away and more consistently. Okay. So that is the next test. Okay. But if you're in a situation where you want to get away from the x gateway and pay $14, you could pick up these guys right here. Now, the way I picked these up were through, um, Facebook marketplace. And this guy I got for 50 bucks, which normally is $200. And then I got this one here for 20, which this one sells for, I believe a hundred or so. I forget the actual price, but um, it's, it's, it's not cheap. Uh, I think 80 to hundred bucks or 130. I think it was the lower model. 6,700 was about 99. This one was like 130. So, okay. So this one I got for 20. So if you can find a deal around your area. Just go on Facebook marketplace. Okay. So for the price of these two 70 bucks, and then I'm going to be adding a, um, <clears throat> extender, which I got off of Amazon for like 16 bucks. Uh, I'll do a review on that to see if it works. But, um, so for the total of like 70, 85 bucks, um, it's going to help me, uh, get away from renting. Okay. And for $85. And if you, if you divide that out by 14 for six months, so half, so I would pay for all of this stuff I have in six months and moving forward, right? After six months. So I think that uh, I'll save in the long run because I think six months goes pretty fast like that. And um, I won't have to be paying. I, this pretty much pays for itself in six months. And um, I think I, I like the high speeds because where I'm at, the AT&T is not available in the fiber or even more than 100. So. So I'm going to be get up to 400 megabytes download speed. So that's really good. And, um, and in my other video, I talked about how you could apply if you're eligible for, um, a lower uh, rate because of, um, government assistance. If you're on that, it's called the EBB emergency, uh, emergency broadcast benefits program, I believe it's called. And it's, um, a great way for you to sign up if you're eligible to save more money. And, um, and so, yeah, this is what I've done to set up my network here. And if you um, want to do something similar, you certainly can. And you could save some, um, some extra money renting an X5 gateway. Okay. So hopefully that helps. So that is my um, explanation of how I set up my uh, network here. So if you guys like this video, remember to destroy the like button, subscribe button, and notification button so you can get future videos just like this. And it helps the YouTube algorithm. All right. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.